Hey, how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my blog. Alright, okay, so at the end of the last one I said this one's going to be on the joys of editing and I also more than strongly indicated that I'm still working on editing Honey in a Boy, which I am, and yeah, that's kind of why I wanted to do this one now. Um, there, there have been several reasons why I've been delayed um, in releasing Honey in a Boy, which I thought would be kind of out by this point. Um, I know I sort of I don't really want this to be sort of like an updatey kind of one. I will sort of go and talk about the the editing stuff um, in a minute, but um, basically I've had a few things going on with my health. I'm sure those of you who watch more than just my vlogs have noticed that um, the Isla Reads hasn't been released for a few weeks. Um, that's because I've put it on hiatus so that I can sort of focus on getting myself well enough to actually do it again. I mean, vlogging is, relatively speaking, fairly simple to both record and to edit, um, whereas the, the Isla Reads, it's, you know, it's, it takes a while to record each chapter and then editing each chapter is really fiddly and as much as I sort of want to finish that series and at least have like that one series of Isla Reads, you know, complete and everything else, I had to take a step back from it because I just did not have the energy to, to sort of do it. And I'm hoping, hoping that, you know, beginning of, of August, um, end of July, it, it will start going up again. Um, it's all sort of very dependent on when I can sort of get myself refocused on it and, and get myself sort of ready and prepared to kind of push forward with it again and it's, as I said it's not a lack of enjoyment of doing the series I still very much you know I want to finish the series and I want to, to sort of do it because you know it is, it is something that is important to me um but I you know my health is also something I should take <laughs> more care with and should give more of a priority than I than I do um so yeah, between between all, all that sort of stuff sort of going on behind the scenes, although I've been continuously working on on, on Hyena Boy and getting Hyena Boy ready, um, it, the progress has been a lot slower than I would have liked. Um, as I said, partially due to, to my own health issues, um, sort of making sort of a major interruption in, in, in my scheduling and stuff, and also partly because I've been really really enjoying editing <laughs> so so the title for, for this one which I'm, I'm going to assume is going to remain the joys of editing um it's true i have been enjoying the process of, of editing i boy a lot um to the point where at, at this sort of moment in time um i've i've gone through i've done some serious resweeps and, and re tweaks and all that kind of thing, you know, certain things that, you know, I sort of went from kind of going, okay, I'm just going to sort of hint at that, to sort of going, no, no, there used to be an actual full-on plot element here. <laughs> and then taking, like, you know, time to have to go through and work it into the story and changing dialogue and adding dialogue and giving characters more to say and more to do and recontextualizing certain lines and certain you know exchanges and certain scenes and certain moments so that these elements that you've kind of gone from well maybe they're sort of subtle things in the background you know no they are definite things that you know we really need to know they are definite things um that takes time and you know i've, I've swept and i've reswept in like even as i'm sort of like editing through sort of chapter by chapter which is my preferred way of doing it i'll suddenly Get a brainstorm and be kind of like oh no 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 i need to go back and edit this dialogue from like 10 chapters earlier <laughs> because i've just figured out a better way of making it you know sound and, and and stuff like that so i love i love this story i love these characters i i absolutely completely and utterly love editing this book <laughs> To the point where I kind of, I, I'm almost at the point of wondering if I'm just coming up with things that I just need to edit. <laughs> just just so that I can keep editing it for a bit longer. But no, I, I, 
I'm getting to the point now where more and more of the chapters I'm sort of going through them, there isn't that much tweaking that needs to be done and sort of going through this this current edit because there are certain bits of dialogue that I want to sort of tweak in, but I'm not sure where the bits are that they need to, to tweak into. So that's that's why I need to go through it sort of chapter by chapter so that I don't miss anything. And then I want to do sort of like a final sweep through um, and hopefully then I will be able to write, okay, now I need to work on the cover. <laughs> and then it'll be ready for release. So yeah, at, at the moment, I'm definitely still hopeful for before the end of, of August. Um, and yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, that's that's the thing. And I think, you know, one thing that I found much more weird with Hi the Boy than probably any of my, my previous projects um, is that I, I do love editing. I do love revisiting and reworking these characters in, in, in a whole new way. And I kind of knew that a little bit, like from the reworking I did of the tales before I posted that on, on fanfiction.net again in the description if you want to go check out the tales it's free it's awesome <laughs> so say it's me <laughs> um but yeah it was something i also found when i was going through the tales is if you love the characters um a lot of these edits they're not because you're completely rewriting the characters it's because you've discovered something about this particular character that you you didn't realise it was there before and suddenly you're kind of like you can't understand how you didn't see it before and then you have to go back through and like completely make sure that it's it's there and it's not something you know it's something that is definite and not just something that you've kind of suddenly blipped into the story and it doesn't make sense but yeah and it, it was one of the things sort of when I was doing the tales that very much um my version of Tristan and Kathleen, um, and the, the version of Kathleen in that in that story, um, they both had very definite personality changes um, from how I originally wrote them, and working those into the story were it was difficult and it was hard work and it was a major headache, especially for the version of Kathleen in that story. <laughs> all oh, those stories um but it was worth it because you suddenly went from this character that had little oddities and quirks about them that weren't quite incorporated properly to these intensely amazing characters that felt a lot more fleshed out and a lot more realized and that's what i'm finding with with the the high inner voice stuff the the going through and sort of editing and working it out and it's one of those things which makes me want to redo those little short ex excerpt things that I did during March for the Call Four Boys and Talora. Um, I'm calling them the Call Four Boys now, or the Call Four, because you know that the, that little friendship group, Jane, his his three friends, and then Talora, <laughs> the Call Four and Talora, <laughs> and I've just sort of started referring to them like, as that um, to certain friends that I've been talking to about it, and I've been going through it and two things. And, and working through that that's just how it's kind of gone gone into my head but I kind of want to to go back and look at what I sort of said about them a few months ago and maybe redo new versions of that for like the, some of the details that I've, I've covered them now but I, I don't know I have to sort of I think I very much have to sort of uh see what I said about them then and sort of see if it still sort of aligns enough because they've not changed majorly necessarily but certain details that I wasn't necessarily aware of before and, and some bits and pieces, like some of their, some of the dialogue excerpts that I gave them from back then, those lines have changed a little bit since. So it might be kind of fun to sort of do an updated version as part of the the promo stuff for, um, for the book when it does actually release. And yeah, that 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 is something I could, could definitely think about doing. Um, but it's something that you kind of bring out with, with the process of editing and, and kind of really getting into the story and really getting into the heads of these characters and really getting into the missing grit of, of how to, to tell this story well and how to tell the story right. And even all the stuff I'd sort of done back in January sort of, it helped, it helped a lot to define how, where the story was going and 
the the elements that kind of needed to be to be brought out and to be made a lot stronger in and certain decisions I sort of kind of made back then I've sort of revised a little bit since and either kind of brought them more to the forefront or shifted gears with them ever so slightly again in lots of things that I kind of would never have thought of when I originally wrote this story however many years ago it is now um yeah there, there is something there's something about the process of editing the process of actually sitting down and figuring out where the bones of the story is and how to flesh that out correctly and and make sure that it lands all the punches that it needs to land and, and make sure all those moments that you know when you first wrote them got to you still really get to you that they're still just as fresh and impactful when you're reading it the 20th time as it was when you wrote it the first time um and I know a lot of them are and, and the, the new moments that I've kind of added in that you know just just make me kind of go okay <laughs> and you know it, it is me talking about my own work and talking about my own writing but I, I love my writing style I love the characters that I create I you know love the worlds that I that I build in and you know the the connection that I, I kind of have to to my stories and it's kind of I I want other people to experience how my stories and the way that I kind of experience my stories and you know when you when you're editing through things when you're sort of reading through things it's you're kind of getting both the experience of being a reader and a writer at the same time and yeah for, for me that that is you know fantastic that's an amazing 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 feeling and I just want more people to kind of kind of get the the, the what I'm doing and and understand you know that <laughs> I, I'm not quite sure where I'm going with this <laughs> I guess um I guess I want people to experience the same level of joy from my books that I do. It's okay, they're not going through and they're not editing it and they're not writing it and they're not necessarily adding to it in the same way. But, you know, if somebody were to read one of my books and wanted to write a, a fanfic based on certain characters or certain elements of, of the book, then yeah, I, I'd be all for that because, like I said, I want people to get the same level of joy out of my writing that. I'm getting out of my writing and you know if that means that they want to do something creative based on it then that would be amazing fantastic and absolutely awesome and you know speaking as somebody who has written fan fiction in the past you know I completely understand that level of enjoyment of somebody else's creation that level of inspiration from somebody else's creation and you know I really really want to be somebody that inspires other people in the same way that I've been inspired in the past and as I said one of my ways of kind of experiencing that kind of my own personal way of, of doing things is when I edit my own work when I get the chance to to go through and read my own work and read what I've written and connect with these characters from a reader's point of view as well as from a writer's point of view and yeah that's that's why for me editing is, is such a huge amazing thing to kind of do and as I said it's part of the reason why Hyena Boy isn't as ready at this point as it should be because I'm just having so much fun editing it um but it hasn't helped that my health hasn't been fantastic the last uh the last you know few weeks a few months and, and stuff so that's kind of slowed me down a, a huge amount as well but when I when I've been editing when I've been able to edit and when I've been able to just sort of like sit there and go on with that I, I can get lost for hours in each single chapter just working through the details and getting it spot on or I can you know get through two or three chapters in a relatively short amount of time because actually how they are now is how they're supposed to be and it's just maybe a few tweaks here and there and making sure all the you know things that need to be dotted and crossed or dotted and crossed where they're supposed to be and you know it's it's such a process it's it's such a creative process i think 
people have to look at editing, especially editing their own work, as being just as much part of the creative process as the initial writing. You know, when you initially write something, you're not writing something that is perfect. You're not writing the final version of whatever it is you're writing. You're writing a version of whatever it is you're writing. And the final version will be there, ready and waiting for you once you've gone through the process of everything else, once you've gone through the process of editing, once you've gone through the process of, you know, going through it and nitpicking at it and, and reworking it and finding where the voice within the words are and then getting to a point where, which, which is where I am now, where you're kind of looking at this thing and going, this thing is ready. I'm, I'm almost completely certain this is going to be amazing. I just hope... I hope so much that other people can can understand just how amazing this is, and it's nerve wracking as well. I think that's you know part of the reason why I've been procrastinating a little bit with the camera, because you know once you actually put the work out there, once other people kind of get to sort of judge your work and or ignore your work or whatever it is, you know it's it's a nerve wracking it's a nerve wracking part. Um, for, for any creative person to actually have their work out there for, for other people to sort of comment on and, and judge and yeah it's not it's not great <laughs> it does it does make me worried um especially because I've not you know I've not found you know all the success that I would have hoped to have found by this point but then I'm also not very good at the whole self-promotion type type side of things and when you're self-published that is you know kind of a big part of it um so yeah i'm i'm hopeful i'm hopeful that's one of the reasons i do keep name dropping high in the way in like so many of these books <laughs> um and why although this one has sort of been more talking about you know the, the joys of editing and, and the process and, well not so much the process but the joys the joys and, and the excitement and you know the whatever else I get from, from editing. Um, you know, I have mentioned my little more and the tales because, you know, these, these are my biggest babies. <laughs> these, these are my most loved and most important babies. <laughs> but that's that's the thing I think, you know, when something is is really important to you, you feel like you need to talk about it more and Part of the reason, part of the joy of, of editing for me is having that excuse to talk again about something that I absolutely love and absolutely adore. And I do, I do adore all the characters. Well, when I say the characters, <laughs> obviously there is, you know, a major exception to to that. Um, but there are so many times at the moment I'm going through it. I I just read this particular moment in this particular scene, and it's it has that impact on me that I want it to have and, and I, you know, I react to it and for me that's kind of like, I want that for my readers. I want my readers to experience that moment the same way that I experience that moment, even though I'm going through it, being a critical author, trying to make sure, you know, flesh this moment out or tweak this moment or whatever else it is I'm, I'm having to do to edit it to make it, to make it punch or to make it land or, or to you know to give it the impact that it, it needs to have and because I have such a connection to it it's almost kind of a case of am I reacting in this way because I have the connection to it or am I reacting in this way because that's you know that's how it is that's the impact that it, it has and the reason that I react to this to the scene or to this moment in this way every single time that I read it is because I've written it well enough to keep that that emotion there, to keep that sort of feeling there. And yeah, I'm I'm excited to see you know how high the boy does once it eventually goes out into the world. And in the meantime, I'm going to continue enjoying the process of editing and hope that you know it's this is like the final leg of editing that I'm doing now and then it's just a case of going through and making sure that I've you know not missed any obvious mistakes um which happens it, it happens it's almost impossible not to miss something I've read so many books where I've kind of gone mm, no, I'm not sure that's quite what you meant <laughs> so <laughs> yeah it, it, yeah it's it's about trying to make sure there are as few of those mistakes as possible and, figured out a way of kind of doing that now but 
yeah, it's it's time consuming, it's enjoyable, it's intense in, in a lot of ways, and you know, it's yeah. So, yeah, I think I think we've covered everything that I need to cover for this one. <laughs> All right, okay. So next time I want to talk about beginnings and endings. Um, I'm not quite sure why I want to cover this as a topic. I think I was just trying to think of possible topics and this was one that I kind of came up with. I'm not yet sure exactly where I'm going to go with this early topic. I've got a few ideas sort of kicking around so hopefully by the time I come to record for that one I will kind of know exactly which direction I want to take it in. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys have found this one interesting. I apologise that this has been as much talking about hyena boy and kind of a hyena boy update um, as it has been talking about, you know, how much joy I get out of it. <laughs> um, but as I said, you know, the, the more kind of high pain excitement I can build for hyena boy at this point, kind of the better, especially because it has been delayed a little bit longer than I would have liked. Um, Anyway, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this one. I hope you're looking forward to the next one and I will see you next time. See ya. If you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya.